everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers. I'm Ayanna Wade. And I'm Heather Roos. And this is $20 Cosplay. wonderful, extravagant, cheap cosplay looks. I was just gonna say, you're setting up some high expectations. <laughs> the rules are pretty simple. We're gonna tweak them as we go, but so far we have. Well, the most obvious one is that you can spend no more than $20. That's it, that's your cap. If you spend under, great. We get it. Rule number two is that we can use things that we already have, shoes, makeup, jewelry pieces, any kind of undergarments, we are allowed to use. And rule number three, very importantly, you have to transform some piece in some sort of way. It's wonderful if you find a full-on outfit at the thrift store, but guess what? You gotta transform it in some way. Wigs are also a giant part of cosplay, and we were able to secure a lovely wig sponsorship from coswigs.com, and they sent us three beautiful wigs for the looks we're gonna be creating today. So today, we are gonna create Pokemon trainers, but with a flair of actual Pokemon. Yes, mm -hmm. so if said Pokemon were a trainer, what would they look like? Yeah, what, what would they, they be? Wear? And we are focusing on the three original starters. That's right, OG. Yes, start That's exactly what I was gonna say. Get out of my head, Ayala. I will not. <laughs> I know who they are, but I was just looking at pictures of them and I was like, yeah, that bulbous one, that's the one I want. <laughs> that big, clumpy hippopotamus. I want you! I'm gonna be Bulbasaur today. I'm going to be Charmander. I mean... The flame-haired wonder <laughs> soft boy <laughs> of my heart. I am a soft boy way. <laughs> that's right. And I am very excited that I get to be Squirtle because I always loved water types uh, because I idolized Misty. I mean, so, I mean... <laughs> so, as far as personal plan of attacks go, what are you trying to accomplish with your look, specifically? I'm thinking of like a like a glamorous, like smoky-eyed, very glamazon, like firebird oh, I type love of thing. I don't, yeah. I don't know, we'll see. I am going classic Squirtle Squad. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because that's exactly what I think of when I think of Squirtle in like the animated series is Squirtle Squad. <laughs> Punky, like... Cut off shorts, like denim jacket, sunglasses. Okay. It's gonna be great. They have so many weird, funky items and like very different tones in their outfit. Mm. Layers. Layers. Yeah. You don't look at one and think like, oh, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sometimes I do. Um. <laughs> Oh, I do, yeah, I do look at them and think, oh! I want some weird pieces, I think. Some things that I wouldn't personally choose for myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have $20 each. Are you guys ready to go thrifty? Yeah! yeah. Woo. I choose you, $20. Thrifty. Oh. Oh, hey. Hello? It, oh. Oh, wait, oh. Hello? It's me. <laughs> so what are you looking for specifically? Uh, I need... Charmander. <laughs> Orange. Fire. Sporty. Smoky. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking for like a denim jacket and like denim shorts, probably cutoffs, cause you know, gotta be cool. Yes. I need a backpack that looks like an... Like a garlic clove. Any garlic bags? Okay, <laughs> we are back from thrifting. I think it went very well. Yes. We've lovingly placed ourselves into categories of expertise for cosplay, mm -hmm. being experts, intermediate, advanced. Advanced, inter that's the word, advanced, intermediate, and, and hot glue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the yes. <laughs> I was gonna say, because beginner is very unfair to you, because you've made a ton of cosplay. Not really. <laughs> I have not. You've made plenty. 
empty. We, have, have we all have experience. Sure have <laughs> That's right. This isn't your first Pro Deal. Mm -hmm. No, it's not, but it's close to my but first But it's your program. fifth. But for this one, we thought it would be a fun first episode because it's kind of just throwing pieces together. We're, of course, going to transform something, but... That's right. Rule number three. Rule number three. Where we're still building a cosplay, but since we're not basing anything off of, like, screen accuracy... Yes. Mm -hmm. We've got some... We've got some room to... It's really fun because we get to put our own spin on these yeah. things, which yeah. is great. And I think it's a first, fun first episode. Yeah. We'll get into some really specific things very soon. Today, we are taking three wonderful looks from Padme. So that being said, let's go through kind of the items that we got. I couldn't find the, su the wing sunglasses. I knew I couldn't. But I found these really awesome blue sunglasses, which I think are going to be great. I have two different yellow tank tops because I'm not sure which one is actually going to finish the outfit best. I got these kind of child, child pajama pants. I'm gonna harvest them for this Pokeball fabric. Harvest I'm planning Pokeballs. <laughs> cut off shorts. This jean jacket. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> this jean jacket was $10. Um, and this is probably gonna be the most labor intensive thing that I'm gonna be working on. I know this is a dark color for a Squirtle. I get it, but it's blue, calm down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Save your emails for someone else. else. What are you using of your own? I have my boots, my combat boots, um, some fishnets. I also have my own fabric paint just from times past. So I am planning to build the weird garlic shaped Bulbasaur flower pod that Bulbasaur has. And I bought this really shapely kids backpack. I think, I think animal legs are supposed to go in here. <laughs> I got this probably just to stick somewhere. I don't know, green trench coat, which I'm going to paint the backpack deal the same color. I also bought something to harvest, this Pokemon <laughs> pillowcase. I'm going to take all of the small Pokeballs and put them on the buttons of the green jacket. Vintage Victoria's Secret, size medium, blue, cha-cha-cha, little nighty. I had these shoes already. There's some like teal Doc Martens, some red contacts that I had already, because Bulbasaur has red eyes, some ears. I don't know if I'm gonna paint them or not, but he's got the little triangles. And then I also got some dollar store nails that I'm gonna glue on because he's got white claws. I keep saying he, 87% of Bulbasaur's are male. And that 32% are female. I'm one of the wow. few lucky female Bulbasaur. No one that got to put all out there. Cha, cha, cha. These vans were 75 cents. I'm thinking of painting them, but I also just bought vans for 75 cents, so. Mm -hmm. Do it for the cosplay! I found this hat for two doll hairs. I knew I wanted to do some sort of hat. I was thinking of maybe a beret, but then I saw this and I was like, ooh, maybe I want to go for more of a sporty look instead yeah. of like a glamazon look. I got this great mock neck little crop tee, white denim jacket. I have dye, oh here it is. I have this dye that you can do in the washing machine. Look at those oh. colors and it's sparkly. It's and I saw it and was like, fire, that is the fire. So I'm going to do yeah. something for like a skirt maybe. Ike, you would be Charmander, huh buddy? Ike, you be Charmander. He, he just wants to be a smooth boy. You are a smooth, nasty yeah. boy. <laughs> Calling a cat a smooth, nasty boy <laughs> is the <laughs> A little dye packet that comes with uh, the eye dye. Hey, buddy. How's our soft, nasty boy? Mm. Great. Smooth, nasty boy. Smooth, nasty boy. Yes. Yes. And a smooth boy. Yes. So the very first thing I'm going to do, which Ayana just taught me because she's a genius. I'm gonna sketch, I'm gonna start on the back of the jacket and sketch everything out in chalk. Did you know you could do that, guys? <laughs> Let it dry and then uh, flip it over to do a whole bunch of distressing. Uh, add some patches, safety pins, other punky fun things like that. My plan of attack was to cut out and make the weird garlic shape thing that he's got going on. Do you need to, like, this kind? Do you, do you even need, need to chop it up in the forks? need to chop it in the forks. That's so, it's less square, though. It's more round. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Okay, cool. let's see if uh, let's see if you'll glue that way. Oh God, this is the first time I've ever painted a garment. So uh, <laughs> here, here it goes. There was paint. I. She is literally killing it right now. 
I'm not literally killing you. <laughs> <laughs> She's literally murdering thousands. Pretty great, dude. Yeah. That looks so okay, good. I'm, so I'm happy. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Laying down some blue, random spots. We're all painting. We're all painting. We're painting buddies. This Cute. is going to be fine when I paint it. And then I'm just going to glue it to this. And we'll Cute. have a good day. I bought a bag of clay plastic balls for $2 at the thrift store that I thought we could use for Pokeballs. I have picked out six of some blues and greens and I am currently painting them half white. I'm going to attach them to my weird sequiny scarf and be like, oh, I'm collecting cute Pokeballs. With the tongue action, I think it really sells it. Yeah. <laughs> well, really well. <laughs> Cutting the dress, da 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 There's no turning back now. I should have pinned underneath it. <laughs> squirrel squad, squirrel squad. Here's my backpack, my weird little garlic blossom. The back of my jacket is finished! Woo! 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 There's Tamara. Hello! On, Hello. on the floor. I decided to make a last minute waist strap for my skirt so that the glitter doesn't shred my stomach. I just made it out of the straps of the dress. Ooh! And then I fold it over. Boom! Waistband! Heather is distressing the crap out of that jacket. It looks great. Look at that. Hey! Pokeball peekaboo. Po there's another peekaboo pokeball over peek there too. Peekaboo, some studs. Hair and makeup. Thanks to Cos Wigs, we don't have to do much with our hair. Honestly, it's so. so easy. I'm doing eye red contacts because Bulbasaur has red eyes. And they're just a little stingy. I think I still have paint on my fingers. I oh, know. <laughs> so, there's multiple ways you can put your hair up for a wig. I really like pin curls, especially because when I take my hair out, then it's mm -hmm. not as like terrible. Okay. But what I'm going to do for you mm -hmm. is basically something sort of like a French twist or like a Gibson tuck type of thing. I twisted this as close as I possibly can to your scalp. Okay. And now, if you give me that back, what I'm gonna do is cross them over each other and then pin them like this. What? And so now you have this beautiful updo. Oh, this is gonna be a dream to braid. Trainers. Yes. Bulbasaur. Trimander. Squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously I did a lot with the jacket from what you saw before. I did a whole bunch of distressing. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but I have some hidden Pokeballs like there. I added some studs up to the collar, but perhaps the piece de resistance of the jacket hey! is the back. That's what I did the most work on is, is the jacket. Okay, I dyed my white jean jacket and removed the sleeves and now you see the reveal before you. And then I painted these sweet flame vans. I'm very, very happy with how those turned out. And then I turned that child's dress into a high-waisted skirt. I thought I wasn't like doing that much, but the things that I did, I took my time on and did them right. Yeah. I painted on some Bulbasaur little freckles as well on my face. I added some paint to some ears that I already had, stuck them in some power buns so that we got Bulbasaur's little ears, as well as applying some dollar store nails that are terrible. God, they feel awful. Nails this long are just the worst. But I look like Bulbasaur. Here is my Bulba. <laughs> Your bulb is back. My bulb is back. <laughs> With some Pokeballs that I've collected over the years. How do you guys think this turned out? We are definitely under budget. Yes. Yes. With Woo! this much amount, it's on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised because some yeah. of my items started adding up. I'm really happy with the wigs from Class Oh, yes. wow, yeah. That saved yeah. us so much time oh, getting ready amazing. and really yeah. pulled the look together. Well, what should we spend the rest of our money on? Thank you so much for watching, everyone. This has been our $20 Pokemon Trainer Cosplay. And a special shout out to Cos Wigs for these amazing styles that have lasted all day through the con. Thank you so, so very much. And if you have any suggestions for future cosplays, let us know in the comments down below. Any more iconic trios that you can think of here. Now we're going to go spend the rest of our cash on a beer. Yes. Bye! Yes. I know, right? I just assumed